content to ignore and be ignored by the world of the big folk. And I, it, there's something so heartwarming about Gandalf chooses the Shire out of all places to be like, this is the blast. Is it and heartwarming I or is it sinister? Yeah, he comes in, he's like, well, time to fuck up someone's life here again. <laughs> it does yeah. It does feel that way too. I think a new viewer would be like, you really, really? A, 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 can you give the ring to someone who's big and strong? It's like, ah, oh, but that's the point. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Remember that Sean Connery was almost cast as he Gandalf. Was. He turned it down. He turned I feel down. like we'd all yeah. be lying if we said we wouldn't want to see what it looked like. I am like. very curious, yeah. It's wonderful to see you, Gandalf. <laughs> I didn't think I'd miss your Uncle Bilbo's birth. Compared to Ian McKellen, I think he would have been terrible, but it would have been interesting to see. All you that. must take it. You cannot offer me this ring. I'm giving it to you. Don't! There's some that. really good stuff in terms of obviously that bit with Bilbo earlier that made, gave you a sense that Gandalf's powerful. He's very old. He's a fucking wizard. But then also his fear of the ring. So it puts you in a position of sort of respecting the ring if he respects it and its power. Mm -hmm. I would use this ring from a desire to do good, but through me it would wield a power too great and terrible to imagine. Oh, but... Ian, Ian McKellen killed it in this movie. He was robbed. He should have gotten an Academy Award. The ring is trying to get back to its master. It wants to be found. Every person who had even a finger involved in any of the creation of this should got an Oscar, right? Oh. My old friend, Saruman. And again, just the, st the story of how he wanted to be Gandalf, he even had the blessing to be Gandalf, but man... You are sure of this? Beyond any doubt. So the Ring of Power has been found. You're like the best Saruman possible. I, I like that he explicitly went up to Ian McKellen and told him that Tolkien told him that he could be Gandalf. It's like, Mom said that I could play. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the love of the halfling's leaf has clearly slowed your mind. But we still have time. Ian McKellen's like, yes, but you're so good at playing evil bastards. <laughs> that fellow's done nothing but stare at you since we arrived. What's, uh, hey, law experts, what's Grandalf Greyhame? Is that like a surname? It's one of his many names. Mmm. So greedy, he had to have more than one name, huh? Stormcrow, Thrandy. He's got a bunch of names. This is when he does Bill, something Adam, horrifying, Steve, and so he gets a new alias. Yeah. It's like, that was Oh, look at that little ferret. That was the Stormcrow guy. That, I, I wasn't, I didn't do that. Of Moria. They even have Gandalf, like, fuck up on some stuff throughout these films. Isn't that crazy? Why isn't he perfect? Pity Bilbo didn't kill him when he had the chance. It was pity that stayed Bilbo's hand. Gandalf just spitting some hard philosophy here <laughs> in the middle of the spooky cave. Many that live deserve death. Some that die deserve life. Can you give it to them, Frodo? Super important line. Yeah. Can you give it to them? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Do not be too eager to deal out death and judgment. No death and judgment. But good the or ill. The or all ends. Even the very wise can see all ends. Uh. This was just fucking how, loud in the long, cinema, too. I love how long this lasts for as well. <laughs> it's <laughs> so hard and banging. The shots capture it so much. You don't see any creatures. But you know. Yeah, I just love Gandalf's expression. He's just like, oh, what the fuck, man? <laughs> you made a man read in peace. Like, like, in that moment, he was genuinely thinking of pushing Pippin down that well. Fool of a took. Throw yourself in next time and rid us of your stupidity. The Pippin mm -hmm. Gandalf relationship is great throughout the three of them as well. But I love the line in the third movie where he was like, of all the hobbits I've met, you are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> you have this sense that he genuinely believes that a hobbit can come through no matter what, but this one, he's like, I'm not so fucking sure about you. <laughs> no! No! Fuck him up, Gandalf. Oh. And this Chad is like, nah, yeah. you're stopping here, buddy. <laughs> I'm a serpent of the secret fire. Wielder of the flame of our north. I love it. Mm. The amount of fucking courage you gotta have for this one. <laughs> I love that this was acted by Ian McKellen while he was staring at a fucking tennis ball on a string. This is what I mean, like... It... I think people get the wrong impression when he says, like, you know, you can't act when you're not across from another actor. It's just that... Go back to the shadow! Being separated from actors for so long disconnects yeah, you from the actual yeah. 
fantasy, which is like an irony almost. Be a hot take help? out, drinker. Talk about how you hate this scene. <clears throat> Wait, no, we have to get Wait, you to do? it. Wait, you do? It's already the scene. Yeah. You Wait, can hear no, Gandalf no, no. talking. This, this scene here is beautiful because it's a mountain. I like it. Yeah, yeah, but you can you can just, hear the previously on with Gandalf saying, oh, 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 Flame, flame of Undoon. We're going to go deep, guys. We're going to go deep into the mountain. Oh, oh my God. The helicopter is going to blow up. Okay. He said the line. He did. He did it. He said the thing. Oh, he Gandalf. God. <laughs> Need to answer the age-old question: Is it cool for Gandalf to do what he's about to do, or is it? Cringe? Yes, it's cool, but it, it doesn't feel quite in step with the rest of the movie, mm. and I'll tell you for why. Bother you fools! So in the books, it's kind of uh, it's left up to the audience, or it's left uh, ambiguous whether he's alive or dead until he makes his return. Whereas in this, it's kind of uh, clear uh, when you watch this scene that he survived. Because you see him fall, you see him battle the Balrog. We know he's not going to have died in the middle of that. He's going to come back now. And I would rather have kept this ambiguous. I would rather have kept it a, a bit of a surprise for the audience. But for later have you on. considered that it's awesome that <laughs> it's Gandalf the fought the Balrog with the sword? This, I, this, I will it. say, this sequence here is a fantastic Marvel movie. Uh, wow, what the fuck? Stuff. This is metal as fuck. I don't think fuck. I appreciate that at all. It this is, is metal very as fuck. Cool. It's just... Look at him. I don't He's fighting with metal the metal with Lord of the Rings quite so much. What? I do. I do. Uh, yeah, well, metal has metal associated itself with Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. How familiar yeah. are you with metal? How much Enderil. fantasy is in metal? No, this is... Have you heard of a band fantasy. called Led this Zeppelin? I feel like there's I like a pretty substantial overlap of things that are metal and good fantasy. Yeah, Christopher Lee was a part of so many bands because of the fact there's so much interesting fantasy that gets tied to it. Are you using that? as an example of why fantasy Jeez, is metal because Christopher Lee scenery. was in a death metal Christopher Lee had great interest in fantasy and metal. <laughs> we uh, no, wizards metal fighting a Balrog this, this in a pit. Or sorry, that shot right there is quite cool. I do like The whole that. thing is fucking great. Oh, I'm glad there's something fucking awesome in these films. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Furrow? Nothing. Yeah, uh, that's literally the only thing. Uh, Wouldn't want you to be miserable for 12 hours. Thank you for making my case. It's a complete wasteland of awfulness, but like Thank you for making my case for sobriety, Drew. You are tracking the footsteps of two young hobbits. Why are you baiting us with the voices? <laughs> I <Yeah>. know. <laughs> they passed this way the day before yesterday. Is the idea behind that that he's like still forming sort of thing? He's been back for quite a while by that. Yeah, is he he's, trying he's to been... troll them? I think he, he is literally just trolling them, yeah. They met someone they did not expect. He likes to have a little fun. You know Gandalf's cheeky. Was it um, Ian McKellen doing an impression of Christopher Lee for that voice? That was totally I'm Christopher sure... Lee's voice. I am Saruman. Rather Saruman as he should have been. Yeah, I, I, they only asked because I'm sure they, well, they blended them a bit, right? Too far. And water. Yeah, a little bit. There was yeah. something in the commentary about this. I remember them talking about it, and it was like he. From the lowest dungeon to the highest peak, I fought him. The Battle of Morgoth. Affected Christopher Lee's voice to some extent, but yeah, they probably like digitally blended them or something. <laughs> He could probably do it though. He's a very good actor. Yay. Who, Ian McCallan? This was like his first role, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah I'd role. never heard of him before this. So, yeah. I think he played Magnet Toes he or something. Magnet Toes? <laughs> I threw down my enemy and smote his ruin upon the mountainside. It's great in the book because it's like they literally fought all the way from the bottom right up to the top of the mountain. Doesn't he hold on to the Balrog's leg as he runs up the stairs for a while? Darkness took me. I strayed out of thought and time. I will say it's a, it's a bit counterintuitive for a movie watcher to be like, wait, what? How are they? Oh. The highest peak of the lowest dungeon. That means there's some cool. pretty, pretty gnarly balrog bones up there for anyone who wants to go oh god that's gonna be worth so much oh jeez yeah, oh, yeah. Geez. yeah. Stars wheeled overhead every day was as long as a life age of the earth i will say that was some slightly weird cgi there the bit where it kind of like you go into his eye and then it's just like you're seeing the cosmos just like rushing past you it's awesome now he's all naked i felt life in me again and i come back to you now 
at the turn of the tide. Probably like, well, that's it for me. I did pretty good. And it's like you're back in. He's like, oh, 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 okay. I just killed a Balrog. <laughs> and it took like six weeks to do. I've been sent back until my task is done. Gandalf. Oh, he's so happy. God, the racist overtones of this. The white is best. That was what they used to call me. Gandalf the Grey. I am Gandalf the White. I heard Ian McKellen was kind of excited to play Gandalf the Grey in The Hobbit because he thought that Gandalf the White was too mean. Too mean. <laughs> we must travel to Edoras with all speed. That is no short distance. The Ents are going to wake up and find that they are strong. Oh, that's good. But he wasn't too mean. <laughs> he was funny. He said very nice things to Mary and all that. Yeah. Comparatively mean, I guess. And then they ruined him in the Hobbit hey, movies. Gandalf the Grey said, fool of a took, all right? And that's the main thing people remember, so. Fool of a took. Throw yourself in next time and rid us of your stupidity. Fool of a took. Grey is the mean one. <laughs> oh, the disdain. Shut the fool. Prepare for battle. To the wall. Prepare the wall. But we were gonna flee, flee for our lives. I mean, some of them looked like they were legit. Like we, we, we're, we're giving up, right? No, okay, Gandalf. Yes. All right. When Gandalf, Gandalf tells you to do yeah. something, you fucking do it. Send these foul beasts into the abyss. Yeah. Send these foul beasts into the abyss. Oh god, this this battle is so cool. Go back to the city door. Now here we get some badass Gandalf shit. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure just those small amounts of movements you see from him here are like like several moves in the game are modeled for that. Yes, that surprised you, didn't it, Gandalf? It surprised that orc even more. Yeah, he's yeah. like, the fuck? Did I just get stabbed by a child? The like, wizard would level up like 30 times. And then this hobbit kills me. <laughs> Yeah, this the element of like, you know, I gotta make sure that we fuck up whatever comes through, but even he didn't expect what comes through. Look at that. Hello! Oh shit. <laughs> it's just like, what the <laughs> fuck? Backup yeah. gate. I, I've always really liked their spears. They have this slender, needle-ish kind of like sharp look to them. Critical yeah. hit. Yeah. Yeah. Uppercut with the sword. Five percent of your rolls, baby. <laughs> this is the shit. Fire sword. Can you beat that? Yeah. Reva's lightsaber. Look at that staff broken. I don't even need it, bitch. Is the Witch King a reflective power level of Gandalf? In the Would movie or in the book? Well, since I've seen the answers. movies and I'm still asking that question. Like, <laughs> the Witch King of Angmar is very powerful, but could not stand up to Gandalf. God damn. <laughs> We're gonna marry Pippin right coming through. I don't even know which I'd pick as doing the more crazy shit. I don't know. I'm not sure. They both do crazy shit. No, I had this all planned out. Gandalf's definitely at the uh, I am fucking tired of your bullshit level. Yeah. Oh, no. dude, this moment of the first thought you'd have is like, you must have killed Frodo, but then simultaneously, like, there's a chance yeah, he didn't. Cool. Don't fucking reveal a thing. No! Silence! Ah, oh, some smart shit from Gandalf straight away. Frodo. Yeah. Look, Ian McClellan going. That's him. McClellan. Sprinting. McClellan. Oh. There wasn't enough epicness in this movie already. <laughs> they like, have some more. And it's the greatest soundtrack ever made. Really? Yep. And right now, it's possibly one of the greatest quotes of The Lord of the Rings. The gray rain curtain of this world rolls back and all turns to silver glass. And then you see it. White shores and beyond. A far green country and a swift sunrise. Gandalf, he is just fucking awesome from start to finish. A man who has lived an unbelievably long life. Like, he is thousands of years old by this point. I mean, I say man, he's not even a man. He's like essentially like an angel or an angelic being that's been sent down to help Middle Earth. A man who has to balance the fate of an entire world in his plans, in all of the things that he sets in motion, has to be in so many different places, has to do so much to try and make things happen as they need to, um, battles all these incredible... Uh, terrifying enemies like Balrogs and takes on Saruman and is tempted by the ring but rejects it. Like he comes through all of that but can still find the time 
to take care and and try to give comfort to hobbits to like Merry and Pippin to give them like little encouraging speeches and things like I, this it, it's such a great balance of a character a man who can see the the world in the grandest scale imaginable but also can still care about the the lowliest of individuals and just yeah an awesome an awesome inspiring character who just never falters